Our top story, and Sky News has got footage of the moment a cargo ship crashed into an oil tanker on Monday. The pictures taken from another ship uh, show the Solong uh, on the left colliding with the Stena Immaculate that was uh, carrying oil, aviation fuel for the US Navy. Well, let's speak to Yarden Gross, Chief Executive of Orca AI, uh, uh, who are a London based autonomous navigation tech startup. Uh, and Yarden, just tell us uh, how this footage came about. I mean, that's filmed from another ship, isn't it? Are they a ship, are they a company that, or was that a ship using your tech on board? Yes. <clears throat> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, so, um, yeah, one of our customers uh, were anchoring in this area uh, and they used our technology, uh, OKI's C pod, and, and used a thermal camera because it was a very foggy situation. When you have a foggy situation navigating those type of congested areas, it becomes pretty challenging in terms of the situation awareness. So this was super helpful for them to actually understand what is going on. Surprisingly, the other vessels didn't have this type of technology. And because of that, because of, you know, crew fatigue, uh, you know, this devastated incident actually occurred. Yeah, and you had an, the, I mean, the, the um, infrared footage is incredible. Are we able to see, tell from this footage, can you guys uh, tell us how, how far away this, this was filmed from? Because, you know, we can see it there in the infrared, but in the foggy one, it's really hard to see, which gives us a sense of just how bad the, the fog might have been. Exactly. So it, it was about two nautical miles from the ship. Uh, in this foggy situation, the visibility was pretty poor. You could see probably a, about half a nautical mile. Uh, so in this type of situation, it will be already too late when the vessel would be in your line of sight. So this is why the thermal cameras plus the AI are really increasing those type of situation awareness in those type of areas. But Yarden, it's right, isn't it, that both ships will have had some kind of radar on them, not some kind, but will have had radar on them that would have picked up uh, the so long moving on towards the center immaculate from much further away. Yeah, that, that's true. A radar is compulsory uh, on every ship, uh, but the radar can be very challenging some, sometimes to operate. Uh, also in those type of congested areas, uh, you have crew fatigue, uh, you have multiple uh, systems that are pretty outdated, uh, we're not the top latest type of technology. So, mm. you know, human mistake plus all data type of technology can co can actually lead to this type of catastrophic type of an event. Yeah, you've got to stay on top of it, haven't you? Because you've got to make sure you're having a look as well. Uh, Yadin, is the, is the ambition, I guess, with this kind of tech that eventually the AI would be able to, I don't know, move the ship out of the way if it needed to, to take evasive manoeuvres if necessary? Of course. This is the gradual process that industry is going through. Uh, to increase automation, to reduce the workload, uh, increase in empowering the crew with the latest technology that wasn't accessible for ships, just because were, you, you didn't have connectivity before a couple of years ago. So now ships have become more connected to the cloud. You can actually deploy AI on board use the latest type of technologies and as a first step, empowering them. Next steps would be automating parts of the tasks so you'll be able to reduce the workload, reduce type of these incidents happening. And you, you, this footage has been shared with, with Sky News. I imagine it's been used by the investigators as well so they can build a fuller picture of exactly what happened on that uh, day. Of course, of course. We are collaborating with investigators, with the authorities, sharing all the information needed in order for them to do the best job and the quickest result. Absolutely. All right, Yarden Gross, really good to speak with you and thank you very much uh, for joining us uh, this afternoon. Thank you.